let's walk through how to play Zombie Slam. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna choose your character. Everyone takes whichever character they want, ensuring that their human survivor side is face up and not their zombie side yet. And you're gonna deal out location cards in a circle and you're gonna deal out however many there are players plus two. Then you're gonna shuffle your supply cards and you're gonna flip them face up on top of each of the location cards, but leaving the location exposed because one of the location cards you're gonna flip face up such that it shows a human straggler that is waiting to be saved. Then, depending what level we're playing, we're going to choose how many hazard cards we get. So let's start with one each. Next, each player is going to be dealt three of the supply cards face up into their own supply starting their very own backpack. Now when you place them, you'll notice that the backgrounds form a picture of a backpack. If you get all, there we go, if you get all four of the different items, it will form one backpack. Now it's time to start using the app. Let's press start and walk through our choices here. We can choose the different level of difficulty, easy, medium, or hard. You can play with regular game. You can play a speed version if you want to get to the point faster or just visuals only if possibly you're in a place where you can't hear and you just can only see your device. So let's play regular. Press next, we choose the characters that we want to choose. Once everyone's hand is flat on the table, somebody presses with their other hand, the hand button to start it off. Let's listen in to the first request. Sean, I'm going to pretend to listen to your crappy idea. Tell us what it is so I can ignore it. Well, we're in a hospital. This is not the best place to be, right? We've got so many supplies here. Oh crap, they're coming, aren't they? Damn it. Okay, well, let's start with any number of first aid kits. And what we're trying to do is be the first to slam the card that has first aid kits. In this case, it is only this one that would be um, possible to take. So whoever slammed that one first gets to take that card into their pile and add it to their uh, current backpack. And then replace that card with another one. Now there is one catch, you see that this card here is a straggler attached to it, so anybody slams this pile also must take one straggler token along with it. Now let's fast forward to the end of the round and see what happens. All right, the app is gonna walk us through what we have to do. First, first it says evade all hazards or turn into a zombie. And what this means is that you actually have to take a look at any hazard card you have. And so then you have to match each hazard card up with one of your supply cards and discard that supply card and the hazard card. Next, equip all stragglers or turn into a zombie. Every round you have to continue to equip every single straggler that you've collected. It's gonna be worth some points, but as you can see, it's gonna take a lot of supplies to keep them alive. Step three, fill one backpack. And you do that by discarding one of each of the supply cards types. First aid kit is always in the top left, flashlights top right, planks wood bottom right, and guns bottom left. So if you have one of each of those types of supply cards, you discard them, get, take a five point token. Otherwise, if you cannot do that, you're going to turn into a zombie. Step four is you get to score extra backpacks. If you still have enough cards that you can discard four more cards, one of each type, then you get another five point token. Then step five, survivors gain one hazard card. Okay, but what happens if you turn into a zombie? The app is now gonna ask who turned into a zombie. So now you're gonna tap whichever character turned into a zombie, multiple characters or even just one character, and you press next. Let's just say Rich turned into a zombie. It's gonna walk us through what to do. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna flip your characters to the zombie side. Okay, pretty straightforward. Every zombie player is gonna do that. Every new zombie player. Then you're gonna flip an empty room to an inhabited. Then you're gonna discard all your supply cards onto these location cards here and making sure that only the top one is visible. You're gonna discard any remaining hazards you have. You do not have to fill those. And you're gonna exchange all of your five point backpack tokens for a one point straggler token. And then finally, you're gonna flip all your straggler tokens to the zombie side. Now no fears because you still have a chance to win. Zombie player wants to grab as many of these straggler tokens as possible because they will all come as zombies. Also, the zombie players are still trying to make a backpack, but now they're trying to make a backpack mid-game. And if they do so, they get to shout out Zombie Slam and they get to give one more hazard card to a player of their choice that is still a survivor. And that survivor has to accomplish this by the end of the round. And then after four rounds, 
If there's any survivors left, then the survivor with the most points wins. If everyone's turned into zombies, then the zombie with the most points wins. And that's how you play Zombie Slam. If you do not have a smart device available, you can still play the game because it comes with these request cards and you can play by flipping them face up or by having one player read them out loud. Good luck in the zombie apocalypse.